It's gonna make it huge though. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I think. It, oh, no, it did. That's exactly what happened. Alright. So. We're good. Looking good. How do I sound? I'm really quiet. That's it. A few more adjustments. Turn me up. Quite a bit. How about that? Does that sound better? How are we doing? How are we doing? Alright, yep. Seems like we're good to go. And then we go. Yep, we should be good. Uh, go ahead and full screen. And we can get moving. All right, Binding of Isaac, let's do it. First run, we are going to, we'll just, we'll hit random. We'll see what we get. Right now, we just have to kill Mom's Heart about a thousand times. We get an Eden run. Okay. Our starting item is Dead Bird, and we have Crack the Sky, and we actually have really good stats, minus our speed. So... Come in here, we've got some champion enemies. Don't want to put ourselves in a bad spot. The movement speed is not that detrimental. And Crack the Sky is actually a pretty good starting active item. Because it's going to get us... Oh, wh wow. That was pitiful. Um, it's going to get us f a couple free boss kills. Now, I don't want to waste our soul hearts here to get into the curse room, but... And we come in here and we have the clicker. Yikes. Yeah, no. Pretty bad, to be honest. Not the best, but... We, um... Nah, you live in your life. Um... Come in here... Now, thankfully our stats are good enough to where the lack of an item here on this first floor isn't going to do all that much to us. We've got solid dam- oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Anyways. Um, we got solid damage, very solid tiers. 
Oh, I hate you. Oh, okay. We're good. Yes, um, so... We're gonna... I'm trying to kill this pink champion because they're unpredictable and they shoot bullets any direction that they feel like it's random so you don't ever want to uh, be hit by random damage especially by a champion because you'll take a full heart we got the boss room over here got these papa flies they're annoying and we don't want to step in the creep there oh get a good dodge Pretty sure this is the green champion that'll split into two when he dies. So we want to be ready for that. Oh no, I was wrong. I was incorrect. Alright. Get a key. Um, secret room is actually pretty hard to find here, so... I'm not even going to bother looking for it. We get Duke of Flies, and he's dead. And we get a damage and range up, which range is actually something that we needed pretty badly here. And we'll head on down. To basement two. Um, and we'll come in here and we get pinking shears, another not so good item, but once again, we have solid damage. Oh, we could get a d6 roll here from this dice room, but oh, putting myself in a bad spot here. But like I said, we have really good damage, so was able to bail us out there. Little, the tiniest bit of knockback. If I get a key here, I'll... Alright, well. We're gonna see what we got. We got a D100, which I'm not too opposed to. I'm gonna blow up these chests so that I can open them and get the D20 roll. I'm actually gonna pick up this nickel, though. And we will do this at the end of the floor just to have as many potential for rolls and whatnot like as far as items that are on the floor already we're gonna lose our crack the sky but I don't think it's the end of the world um, we'll go in the shop here too cuz why not no point in not doing it uh, getting a roll for the poke go wouldn't be the end of the world if we can get five more cents uh, but it's not looking like it. Well, no, what am I talking about? We haven't even really explored the floor fully. And we got these dudes. I can't really tell you what they're called off the top of my head, but oh my gosh. I hate when they're positioned like this, because you gotta... Ugh. So annoying, dude. It's alright, it's alright. We'll be alright. Can't go in that curse room. I can't risk it, man. The boss will be, thanks to Crack the Sky, not a problem. So, it's not really what I'm worried about. I'm worried about just getting there, because I have such little health and no defense whatsoever. I'm going to leave these pickups on the ground, just because. Hopefully these poops will give me some money. Uh, so that we can get in the shop and grab that poke go for a reroll. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and smack this boss real quick. It's haunt. This is problematic. So I need to kill the little haunts before I can get in there and deal with haunt himself. Excuse me, which is uh not particularly the best for us with our slow movement speed but it's looking like we're going to be able to pull her off and then we just do that and we go ahead and take haunt down and we'll get a pentagram which i really do not want to reroll but and we're going to go angel deals but i mean we we got to do this right i mean i oh yeah, yeah now we're faced with the predicament of is it worth it? Well, I mean, regardless, the Pokego will get rolled, so we'll we'll just we'll go, we'll do it, we'll do it. We got to. We don't have a choice. All right, here we go. Oh, spin to win! Oh, we got Cricket's head right on. 
Nice! Oh, the Anna tears up. Oh my goodness, that was massive. And in here, we were holding into mom's pad. Uh, I'll take it. It's a shitty one, but... Oh, wait. Gotta go check what the shop rolled into. And I do have bombs now. And the secret room might be... It's still not worth it, but we got a soul heart in here now. So that's good. Uh, and our health situation is looking a lot better than it was not f fucking 10 seconds ago. And we have Cricket's head now, so I like where this is going. But, secret room... Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Anyways, moving on. Um, that was terrible fucking damage. I do that so much, and I hate it so bad. Um, we're just going to head to the next floor, man. Get us out of here. Anyways... Alright, now that we have Cricket's head, we're going to be doing a substantial amount of damage. That's a Tinted Rock, and I'm getting hit already. I'm so good. Go ahead and blow up that Tinted Rock. Get double soul hearts. That's what I'm talking about. We have no keys to get into our uh, item room there, but... I'm not getting hit in here. Absolutely not. That would have been embarrassing. We have plenty of bombs, but no keys. That's what's so shitty. Um, gotta finish these guys' as, like blobs that they leave behind off. It's probably worth going in here. It was not in any capacity. Alright, that's awesome. Unless there's a key in here, maybe? I love a soul heart back. There was a key, but I did not get that soul heart back. I'm gonna use that. It's actually pretty nice. Alright, let's go check out our item room. We lose that soul heart, unfortunately, for pretty much nothing, so that really sucks. But we get Midas's Touch. So Midas's Touch is going to turn any enemy that we touch, like that makes contact damage to us, we're gonna turn them into, um,. Money, like they're gonna explode into money, and um, it works as many times as you can hit an enemy in your iframes. So it's not the best, but it's not horrible. I can't see it helping us very much, but it's like I said, it's not the end of the world. Um, okay, come in here. Got these little spitter dudes, the spitter maggots. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? Why are you hiding inside of that guy? That's annoying. I hate you. Okay. Uh, I'll take care of these dudes. This is—is is this the key champion? It was an explode one, really. That was surprising. Hosts, the worst enemies in the game. Okay, come here. Host, open. Oh! I like a speed up pretty soon here. Can I get, like, keys? That's a huge pill. Thank you. Balls of steel. We're going to be able to fight the boss here, potentially get a deal. I kind of want to find the shop first, though, so I can blow up a uh, keeper to get my deal chance. But I, I don't have a key, so it would be a secret room I'm looking for. But no, but we'll just fight the boss, whatever. We can just get in here and fight the boss. Etc. Okay. Mega Fatty. So this boss, he's gonna jump around every now and then like that. You just gotta make sure that you're moving constantly in this fight. Because the more he jumps. But there's also an attack that he'll do this one where he sucks you in and then 
shoots out tears, but that's very easy to dodge. That's the attack that you want him to be doing most of the time. And here we can fear him so that he's not going to jump. Okay, we're almost done here. Really hoping for this angel chance, because we get us a powerful item that'll give us the rest of this run for free. And down goes Mega Fatty. Oh, we finally get that speed up that we wanted. That's what's up. And it's a damage up, so we're sitting at a solid 9 damage now. And... <clears throat> we're going to come up here. We're going to try to look for the secret room. It's not, like, the freest secret room I've ever, I've ever seen on a map, but, I mean could be here but if you're trying if you're having a difficult time finding the secret room what i find that you want to do is you want to go to all sides and make sure that the secret see i could have checked there but it can't be here because of this rock if there's anything blocking it from being there like so here there's nothing on right there and in this room we know there's nothing right there but we haven't been in this room yet and there's also nothing right here so the odds that it's going to be right there are increased heavily And I guess I should have looked for it so that I could get this keeper out of here for a little bit of extra deal chance. But we don't know that it would have mattered or not. Um, ha, funny. Huh. Get a luck up. Yeah, alright. Nothing more to do. We can just head down. Well, I guess I could do the mob trap room, but that's too much effort. I'll pass. I'm good, thanks. We'll head down. And... Take care of these dudes. And that guy over there, he is a part of an enemy that has like three splits when you kill him. And what that enemy is gonna do... Yeah, I gotta... This is messing with me quite a bit. So if you fear these enemies, they are not going to shoot at you. Which is really helpful. We're actually... We're gonna go in the curse room here again. It was, once again, not worth it. A world card's not bad. It's gonna give us full mapping for the floor. And we can see that there's a mini boss here that I'm gonna want to take care of. So I, if I had it unlocked... Killing that... L oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Killing that little enemy... Oh my gosh! I'm getting demolished. Um, That little enemy right there, if you... Oh, what the fuck, man? If you kill that enemy, the little guy, if you kill him last, then you'll... um, What's it called? You'll be able to get the Eternal D6. You have a 1 in 4 chance at it. And I'm just really annoyed that I took that much damage there. I'm actually going to try to go to the boss as quickly as possible. I'm going to fear this room because I don't want these hosts to kill me. It's not looking good for my health, though. Right there, you can see how Midas' touch works. Um, oh, so massive, dude. What a pill. Right on. Um, we could go to the shop, but like I said, I'm trying to... Oh, I didn't even mention what the uh, the trinket I have does. The left hand. It um, It's going to turn all of your chests into red chests. And red chests are good because they have a chance at giving you soul hearts. Which is something that you want, obviously, to live. And these enemies are just all a room full of enemies that explode. And it's really, really annoying. We're trying to take care of them in a way that they don't blow up any of these rocks or barrels to hurt us. And we got one more spider to deal with, and then we can go in our item room. And we get Freezer Baby. That's going to be 1 3 conjoined. And we've got ourselves a boss fight after we can deal with all these Globins, I believe they're called. So what Freezer Baby is going to do is every now and then, if one of their tiers hit, they have a chance to freeze an enemy, which is an effect from one of the planetarium items known as 
um, Uranus. And we're gonna get frickin' turn that guy into gold there. And we're trying to stay away from these corners. Actually, no, what am I talking about? We want to stay in these corners because it's harder for the maggots to come and get us. We're hoping for an angel deal here to be real nice. And we're not going to get it, but we are 2-3 spun here. More speed, more range. Yikes, man. The deal chance is just... I'm really missing out on blowing up these keepers, I guess gonna be able to get these two mushrooms here never mind i am an idiot uh we get three cents all right now it's definitely worth going and checking out our shop here which is what we're gonna go do now head down to the shop so far we have not had a single tears up our only tears up has been obviously the tears up we started with through eden and then oh, more damage right on uh, we're gonna take that and we'll save our money for the next floor and it's kind of getting a little frustrating that we keep missing these deals but I mean what can you do you know So we're going to head down to floor 5 in a run that feels a little underpowered. Just because it's floor 5, I haven't been hit yet, but I haven't landed a single deal. And we're going to go in the curse room for the... Oh, it's not worth it once again, dude. On low Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. So we finally land our deal. And it's just the hearts it's the two it's the four eternal hearts and the one soul heart which is a really really annoying devil deal that exists in this game i don't know why i wasted a bomb there that was pointless it didn't even go in but for chub here if you drop a bomb in their mouth then they'll eat it and it'll make their tummy upset and they'll blow up I hate these enemies so damn much, dude. I gotta do something like this. Just try and keep them away from me. The heads while I take care of the hearts. Right on. Oh, did I was talking about tears and look what we find. The cancer trinket is just gonna give a straight enormous tears up. And we're gonna want to bomb as soon as possible now. And Rosary Bead is just going to increase our deal chance, which is pretty useless, but, I mean, we might as well. And we see a Tinnadrock here. So we really need that bomb even more so now, so that we can grab that Tinnad... Or, sorry, not the Tinnadrock, the, um... Da -da 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 oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Give me one second, I gotta focus up here. Okay, well, I'm. Oh my god! Okay. Fuck, man. Terrible. If you walk in and out of a room, then the poops from the room will become. Uh, you can get pickups from them. And we have a golden key now, which is awesome, because it means we can get into all of our places. So, like here, we get bot fly very good defensive item um we don't really care if we get the deal or not here because i mean it's um excuse me it's not even a deal you can barely even call it a deal i walked straight into that and lost my deal chance but whatever but we see how we get a lot of money when we're abusing the eye are you kidding me the iframes of Midas's touch. And now that it's down to red health, it doesn't really matter. We can just kind of try to farm some money a little bit at least. Like I said, I despise these enemies so much. And usually, at least in my experience, usually, um, 
the way they spawn is that so that the heart for the one that the mask in front of it it's opposite they're usually are you kidding me dude really we're not get, are we not gonna get a bomb here that's gonna fucking suck yeah but botfly um what botfly does is he shoots out a little um a little bullet that deletes enemy tears and I have never needed a bomb so bad in my life. Like, are you kidding me? Thank you, Botfly. Oh, we finally get the bomb. So we can go over here, come back, go get the Cancer Trinket. Then we'll get the two bombs and we can go blow up that Tinted Rock. And potentially even find a secret room here. So it's just going to give us a solid one tears up, which is really good. Oh, I should have put it up against the wall, too, to look for it. Alright. It's okay. So this is Necropolis 1, so we will not be fighting Mom here. And we'll go ahead. Come in here. Get Magic 8 Ball. It's going to give us a higher uh, shot speed, and it's going to give us also a... Higher chance at a planetarium on the next floor. Ouch. That was awesome. Get a moon card after getting hit by a champion enemy and losing our soul heart. Might as well use it. And that sucks. That would be pretty sick. Um, but, oh, hold on. We might have action, guys. Hold on just a second. Show me an item. Come on. I'm being really risky with this here, but damn, I want this. Um, do we have any hearts anywhere? Oh, unfortunately not. Uh, we can try to look for some. We have the moss um, sorry, the mob trap room still. And we have this one room. Okay, this might give us some HP somehow. One's one black heart when Isaac Self is reduced to half a heart. Disappears after spawning three black hearts. Oh my goodness, Monkey Paw is actually going to help us out here a good bit. It's going to give us an opportunity to actually force this. Trinket's gone. I'm trying so hard, game. Come on. I gotta try the mob trap room, I guess. It's oh, I can't even go in because I'm not full health, dude. Oh, no. I'm trying to force that secret room item, but it is not looking good for us. Key beggar? Maybe, maybe a chest? No. Um, what was this card over here? I know it wasn't a sun card, but... I mean, to be fair, I didn't even see it. It's emergency content. Oh, you're killing me, game. Alright, let's try and tap it one more time. Maybe get the miracle. No. Fuck, man. Alright. Um, we'll go fight the boss, I guess. And we'll see if anything comes from doing that. God, that really sucks. We could look for our super... No, we can't. We don't have any bombs. Fuck, man. Alright, what do we got? Oh, and we got the fucking... Oh, we're so fucked. Yeah, I, like... Okay. Next run. Fucking bloat, man. And it is gonna be a Samson run. Alright. Let's hope we get some better item room luck here. Like that fucking, um, ow. That, uh, ow. It's alright. This character, you kind of are hoping to get hit most times. <sighs> it just speeds up how you're going to do the floor because Samson starts with Bloody Lust, and every time you get hit with Bloody Lust, you get a small damage up. And I believe you can get hit up to, like, eight times or something. Something like that. The first shop, we probably shouldn't have gone in, but it's alright. We'll be alright. We're gonna be alright. Um, 
come in here. These are also very unfortunately annoying enemy in the video game. Uh, Claudies, these red guys. At least that's what I call them. And then uh, we come in here, kill this guy. Head up. We have a gluttony fight, which, if we're lucky, he'll drop the HP up less than three. And he does not, but we get a pill, we're going to take it, it's a range up, not too shabby. And then we're going to head down this way, we'll go in the curse room for sure, because it'll just give uh, Samson more damage. There's not much risk to it, especially because we don't have any soul hearts that we're wasting. And we'll even be able to heal the full when we get out. And those were some shitty red chests, alright. Come down here, take the key, take the coin, take the heart, and we got our item room right here. We're probably going to most likely, we're going to be able to blow through the boss here with uh, 8 damage, yeah. <sighs> Want to destroy these poops on the off chance that we're able to get something insane, insanely bonkers. We get Kamikaze. Now, Kamikaze itself is not the best. I mean, it's an alternative to bombs if you want to take a little damage to get your stuff open. Like, um... Here, let's see if we can go grab the secret room real quick, which I feel like is very obviously right here. Yep, we're going to go be able to grab the secret room. We can also grab this chest. Might be worth it. It wasn't, depending on what this pill is, experimental pill, range up, HP down. It really wasn't worth it. All right, damn, that sucks. Okay. Um, and even like a boss like this, you can just one shot, boom, he's dead. And we get our HP up back. All right. <laughs> we have a heart there, so I'm actually going to look for the uh, super secret room, which there's only realistically one. No, there's two places it can be. It can be, never mind, there's one place it can be, and it is up from this room here so the thing about the super secret room is it needs to not touch any other room it needs to be a room off by itself like that but the thing about kamikaze is if you get some form of bomb immunity you're able to just spam it so you can just boom 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 over and over and over and you're basically unkillable especially if the bomb upgrade that you have or sorry the bomb immunity that you have is pyromaniac because pyromaniac heals your red hearts whenever you are um whenever you take bomb damage and we'll go in here again we'll do something like that get nothing again it's all right like i said we're boosting our damage for the floor which is nothing to shy at. And we don't have any marks with Samson. So. We're actually trying to be pretty quick here as to make boss rush. And we also want to hope that we can get a decent item to help us beat boss rush. Like I said, that bomb immunity would be pretty cool. It doesn't happen all too often, but when it does, it's pretty damn nice. And we haven't even da we haven't danced, and we haven't pogged today. Like, come on now. All right. Taking care of these little jumping jack dudes. And if they touch the fire like that, like they just did, then they'll turn into the burning basement variety of that enemy. It's the same with the Claudie guys. I just realized I only have 2.5 tiers, but that's, at least it, that's what it says I have, but that's not what I'm shooting at. Like, I'm shooting way faster than that. Don't have any crane games, so there wasn't much hope for me of this being good, but. Uh, destroy some poops. It's always worth taking your time to destroy the poops, because 
you can get petrified poop or you can get even just pickups and oh, come in here I don't even know if I want to take um, go angel deals again because when we went angel deals last we didn't catch shit oh my goodness brainworm brainworm is a very very good trinket it does what you just saw there and it'll like kind of <clears throat> side swipe to hit enemies which is really good it's almost homing it's very close to homing definitely the best worm trinket Ugh. Okay, no keys really for the whole floor. That sucks. Balls, man. Okay, um, can be there. Can it be from up from this room? Yeah, secret room is probably here. Yes, it is. We get more bombs, but no keys. It's all right it's all right we'll go in i think we might be taking this double deal we're gonna go in at the very least because we're very un underpowered okay oh and it's gonna be larry Brainworm's gonna make this easy on us. <clears throat> we'll be able to take care of him pretty much, no problem. And we're gonna get Blood Clot. And what do we got here? We have. Mm, neither of these are really worth it, to be honest. Hey, we pogged for the first time today. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that was a quality 3, to be honest. Alright, well, it's looking like we're staying with the split chance. Maybe we can land us a pretty big angel deal. Hua! Okay, as. You, whoa, what boosted our planetarium chance? Oh, duh. Um, so, if you were unaware, when you are unable to get into your item room, just because, you know, you didn't end up with enough keys, um, then, oh my gosh, I already lost my deal chance, damn it, you'll, um, god, why am I stumbling over my words right now, um, you'll be able to get an extra boosted chance for planetariums for the next floor, other than Magic 8-Ball, that's really the only other way to boost your chance, Otherwise, you're sitting at just a stock 1% chance. <clears throat> Which obviously is not ideal when you're trying to get you some planetariums. Or what, what? Oh my gosh. Well, now that we lost our deal chance, it doesn't really matter if I take damage here. <clears throat> so, we're just trying to get that um, spider spawner out of there. So usually those are on the ground, but there's a variant of them where they're walking around. <laughs> oh, I'm tired, my goodness. Sorry. Ah. Anyways. Come on, man. Let's get at least one heart kill today. Goodness gracious. Don't let it all be for nothing. So we're hoping that when we fully explore this floor, oh, finally a fucking tears up. Uh, we kind of just want another key here. Well, now we can afford it. Uh, we were pogging because of car battery, and we are no longer pogging. I wonder what car battery would have done there. Would it have just made it so that we? Our explosion does double damage, or would we get fucking blown up twice? Because getting blown up twice would not be very good. Okay. <sighs> 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 
come through here. Fight the, these guys. They shoot like um, little Ipecacs. Uh, once again, I don't mind getting hit there. We've already lost our deal chance. Get a Wheel of Fortune card. We get to come in here. Get some red chests. And we'll get... Oh, what is this pill? Come on. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Wow. Alright. Well, the health situation just exploded. We're looking great on our HP now. Now we want to... Wow, did I really just get hit by that turret? Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. So Brainworm's really putting in work there. And I fucking... I'm so fucking ass. Oh my god. Uh, we'll come through here. We'll stop being dog shit at the video game, hopefully. We'll stop skill issuing every five seconds. And we'll see what this card is. Death card. Eh, it's better than the Wheel of Fortune. We'll hold on to it in case we get an annoying room. And are we really not going to get another key? Dude. That's annoying as hell. Chariot card one is now what we're holding on to. Finally, damn. I'm gonna preemptively just guess secret rooms here without even looking, cause I'm just so good. Uh, I'll come in here, get some more coins. We'll blow these up for like magic mush. There was a chance. Pill, luck up. We'll take it. I am really hungry. Um, we'll come in here. Our item room has scatter bombs. We'll just get more bombs and bombs and bombs. We'll actually come in here and blow up some of these then. Just to, for the hope, the prayer that we somehow land the magic mushroom. Nope. Alright. We'll go then. I hate myself so much. Please someone tell me I'm not alone in that. That I do that shit all the time. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I just, I'm not paying attention to the fucking rooms that I'm walking into. I don't think it's my fault. I am bad. Skill issue, if you will. Okay. We'll be able to blow up some more mushrooms. The game just keeps blessing me. No planetarium, man. It's okay. We'll have... We can't lose the planetarium chance, unlike deal chance, so... <coughs> and we get a hollow fight. And we take damage immediately because we're terrible. Don't know why I took a full heart there, but alright. And we don't get a deal to no one's surprise. And we'll just head on down to the next floor. Come in here for half price. We'll be able to use the chariot card to get out. The chariot card just gives you some temporary invincibility, so you can take advantage of that to get out of places that would take you damage to leave, usually. And we'll get another pill, and we get an I Can See Forever, which is going to show us the secret rooms, both of them. It's an effect that the x-ray goggles have, or x-ray vision. Pull those up just for potential crawl space. We once again have no keys. As per usual for this run, we have plenty of bombs, yet no keys. <coughs> I think I might be getting sick. Alright. Head over here. We got Hollow the rematch. hoping to get into somewhere man uh, 
Uh, we get a sun card, which is going to be full mapping. Ah, yeah. We have a library as well. Okay, we have a lot to unpack here. Still, still no planetarium, though. Off the 21% chance. That really sucks. I could use a planetarium item right now, to be honest. Dude, Larry. Homie. Can you let me hit you, bud? I'm trying to leave as many of these poops here as possible. Because, like I said... Once you leave and come back into the room, you can destroy them for pickups. Unfortunately, you cannot drop keys, though. That sucks. Um, I think our best chance is, honestly... Ah, to go fight that guy and hope it's pride because pride drops keys as long as he doesn't drop shoop doop and we get this room again kind of annoying once again this room just when you don't have very much damage is kind of a pain in the ass honestly not the worst thing that could have happened there and we do, we got Ultra Pride again. And we'll take a shit ton more damage to him, because I'm bad. I'm going to stay far away from him because of that green attack that he was doing to me in the last run. And we're not going to take the left hand here. And we didn't get a key. We got bombs. Can I have a key, please? Thank you. Perfect. And we'll get Book of Shadows, which we're going to take. Book of Shadows is going to give us, every time we press it, we're going to just become invincible for a little while. And now we can head down and around and hope that our secret room has some fucking keys, yeah? Maybe. I have accomplished fucking nothing so far. <laughs> Mostly hoping for just keys to drop his room rewards. And that's a bomb. There's a tinted rock right there which could give us some keys. Which I actually would prefer as to a soul heart right now. And we... We get a key and a soul heart. I will take it. Um, I'm gonna risk going into the shop. I am gonna do it. Hopefully there's a key. There's not a key. And now we no longer have any keys! Every time I do that, I feel like it doesn't pay off. I feel like it never pays off. And it pisses me off. <laughs> We just, we don't want to miss our item room for the fucking, what is it now, like third time? We only have one, two, three, four, five items, and only one of them is from the fucking item room. Good lord. Where am I going? There's our super secret room. I've been fucking wondering. Ow. We get a beggar can try to get him to pay out here. Lord knows he can't. He can't pay out with keys, though, so that's pretty cool. And we'll try to pay this out on the right as well, and he's just going to give us an HP up. Alright. Alright, and we didn't even get the good one. Fuck! We are having a hard time. The game is laughing at us. Alright, last potential room to get keys as I get fucking smacked in my mouth. And we get Gertie. We're just gonna pop this and sit in his face and absolutely destroy him. destroying shit. What am I on about? I don't want to take fucking damage here. Alright, we're hoping for an angel deal. With something decent in it. Fuck. 
And we get an angel deal with uh, something decent in it. Yeah. Yeah, cool. It's tears up. We'll take it. We don't want to fight the angel. There's no point. I actually don't even think I can on this file yet. Oh, we got a key. Oh, my God. That justice card. It didn't even click in my brain how fat that was. Oh, my gosh. So we're going to have an even more boosted chance at finding a planetarium here. I'm not risking shit. I'm going straight to the item room. Um, because we have Magic 8-Ball as well now. And we get money equals power. Which is just going to be a damage up. So money equals power. If you can believe it, the more money you have, the more damage you do. Very simple, straightforward, and to the point. And we'll go down. Ha! Ah, one run so far. Eh, fucking nothing else going for us. 36% planetarium chance here. I'm going in here. Fuck it. Well, immediately worth. Uh, I'll come in here. Potentially get tp Nope, we'll get a fucking Fallen Troll Bomb. That's cool too, man. Should have probably used my uh, temporary invincibility, but I don't mind the damage here. Once again, not the end of the world, I believe. Just my personal belief on the matter, though. Um, come in here. Ugh. We get a key first thing. So, that's definitely not fucking worth it with the luck we've had. I'm actually going to do this. Yeah. You're not get. You feel blessed. Once again, didn't get you feel blessed. Come on, give us TV. Fuck, man. Oh, we're so unlucky right now. We're hoping for the angel item, and we're hoping it's a fucking god item. To be honest, but I don't want to waste my heart, so I gotta kind of be hesitant here. And I can use the book of well, book of shadows if I have to. Hate those damn bonies, man. Chests, no hearts, but we get a dime, so now the shop's looking nice and juicy. And we have a key for both of these here. So it's actually looking like it's going to be pretty freaking decent for us. So we'll come in here. Uh, we'll get a soul heart. But what is this? Fuck down, that sucks. Um... Okay, we get a gold key. That's actually fat, considering our key problems this whole run. Yeah, Harlequin baby. Fucking join progress. That's about all it's good for. Another dime. Okay. Money equals power. Putting in work. And there are three headless horsemen in here. Right on. What a fucking shitty room, dude. Dude, where are they? Oh, they're both up here. Okay, one of them's dead, but I can't find the- Ah, I can't- Ah! Here's our fucking soul heart, man. Dude, there's no way there's not a planetarium on this floor. Can you die? Fuck. This is so shitty, man. Well, we have a golden key now, so we can come in here. It would have killed me. 
An emperor card. Fucking useful. Thanks. How fucking annoying. Okay. Looking, just looking for fucking HP, dude, to heal up. So we can keep playing that sack room. At least one more tap. You know? And we once more received the cancer trinket. Why wouldn't you fucking open, asshole? So cancer or brain worm? I think we gotta go cancer. There's not many trinkets that you keep instead of cancer. And I fucking hate myself. I forgot that they spawn those when they die. <sighs> Yikes, man. I think we just gotta fucking send it, dude. It's not looking like we're gonna get much more. We're really hoping for the, t the teleport to the angel deal here. Oh, that sucks so much ass, bro. These runs have not been kind, but I've also been terrible. Playing like shit. Oh my goodness, okay. We got a long boss fight. Is that a fucking double trouble fight? Are you kidding me right now? Who the fuck am I fighting? Double wretched. Disgusting. I'm just gonna fucking do this so I can absolutely eviscerate them. It's running out already. I thought it was running out already. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, it is now. But, she's dead. Nice, we're gonna handle that relatively with ease. And we're gonna matchbook. I am actually gonna go back and keep playing that sack room. Just to try and get the soul hearts. But is it worth it, really? It, this might be a misplay, to be honest with you. But... But, I'm here for it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Fuck it. So we get the troll bombs there. Then we have Uriel. Oh, we don't care. And we get the fucking coins. Right on. Misplay! It's alright though, it's alright though, because next floor, we got enough money to have a fat shop. Secret room? No, uh, it could be here. I just have an excess amount of bombs, so I'm not really giving a shit where I'm putting them. But I probably should, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna chill out. We ought to relax. Ought to relax. What about down from here? Ah, uh, could be. Yes, sir. And we get a fucking greed fight. Alright, more money. We'll take it. Money equals... Oh, the holy grail of Jeth's right there. My goodness. Apparently keys are worth their weight in gold. Ay, ay, ay. All right, mom floor. Here we go. Oh, fuck it. Let's go straight into the curse room here. Let's send that shit. All right, not fucking worth it at all. <laughs> now these are the guys I was talking about way early. Ah. <sighs> Ha 
I'm doing an Azazel run. I need a win. I need a fucking win, man. Already immediately going to use our Fool card. Because we don't want to lose these black hearts. Because Azazel, he only spawns with black hearts. But in turn, he also spawns with Brimstone. It's just really short. He has really bad range. However... He's still absurdly insane. And a couple good items, and we will be chillin'. Explosivo. Um, I don't know how this works with Brim, but let's find out. Fuck it. Uh, doesn't look like it does. That'll be huge, potentially. That's a luck up. Get a soul heart here, get our bomb back, and two keys for the next floor. As we know, last run we were having a bit of a key problem. Oh no, it does work. Oh, cool. And we'll get our missing page. Taking damage has a 5% chance to deal 80 damage to all enemies in the room. Black hearts and Necronomicon like effects deal double damage. Oh, sure. Cool. Uh, open that up. Get a card. It's a Hierophant card. And immediately our HP situation is looking golden. That's terrible. Um, we'll be able to destroy all these poops real quick. Oh, we want to get away from that when that happens. So yeah, we definitely don't want to be standing nearby when an enemy gets stuck. So a first floor horseman fight is usually pretty good for characters that don't already start with flight because you're going to go ahead and get a pony, which is going to give you flight. But you'll also get the little dash tank, but that's not really what you look for when you have, get this item. It's alright though. have a hundred percent chance of a double deal here but usually with this character you're most times trying to go angels uh, do that kill that little guy and get pills and we get tp'd to a devil deal that has guppy's collar ouija board and dark matter which i'm just gonna take it's a bat damage up so we've locked ourselves into devils regardless of what happens here so that's what we're doing now we are devil boy yeah no we're not gonna do that that's a lot of work and I don't feel like it we have an arcade here but oh see this is the number one thing that you want as a Zazel is range ups the more range ups you get the more like regular brimstone your brimstone is. That's all you want. Uh, camo undies is another quality three. Entering a room camouflages Isaac and confuses all enemies until a tear is shot. And you get a fat speed up while you're invisible. Okay. Keep dealing with those spiders. I mean, this character, he just, he comes so easy, man. Matchbook is just going to give us another soul heart and a bunch of bombs. This chest is going to give us some money that's going to make worth going in here worth it due to humbling bundle. Right on. Now, a lot of the pickups that we get are going to be doubled. Now, Widow is going to be a very easy fight because Widow has barely any armor and we get another range up, which is so massive. And we get back into the deal here, but it doesn't matter. We already took what we wanted when we came last time. Okay. Oh, we missed... See how Humbling Bundle gave us two coins there instead of one. Still not getting that HP up from Gluttony there. 
It's all right. Come here, take care of these little hopper guys. Yikes. Motherfucker dashed hella far. Oh, yikes. Alright, now we're talking. So what petrified poop is going to do is every time you break a poop, you're going to have a way higher ch Are you kidding me? You're going to have a way higher fucking chance. To that just made me angry. You're going to have a way higher chance to do stuff. Fuck, man. <clears throat> You're gonna have a higher chance to get pickups from poops, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Let me get Mr. Mega. Get another luck up pill and another luck up pill. So right now our luck is popping. And these guys are gonna shoot homing shots, which some most times do that. Yikes. Okay, with that extra range that we have, we're sitting pretty right now. Yikes. Taking a lot of damage that I really shouldn't be. 4.5 volt is kind of good, but not really in this situation. Not with the active item that we have, at least. Okay. Be able to come all the way over here. Head over to the boss room, which is gonna be like right over here fucking trites more like troglodytes fucking bastards all right come in here it might have been worth it it was eh. if we can find a roll of some kind we can plop them in the secret room but that's about it that's all we can really hope for with that We have this bitch again, which is just like a uh, widow. Very easy fight for us. And I'll just use that to show it off, and then I'll take damage because I'm an idiot. Alright. Another range up. We're actually, our brim's getting pretty damn good. Very solid range. And we're making great time. Come back to this big room, get it out of the way. And it was the charge room. Cool. Let's work for me. And you can just see how this character is so fucking easy, dude. Like if you're if you're looking for an easy character, man, Azazel is definitely the one to play. <gasps> He's not the easiest... Well, no, he's the easiest player, character in the game. Especially when you're first starting. And we get paid to play, which would be nice. But we have hum humbling bundles, so it's not really necessary. We're going to get a couple rolls here. We'll actually just blow it up with this last one. And we'll get Hive Mind, which we'll just take. On the off chance we get Guppy or something. We get a small champion right there. Okay. You're dead. You're dead. Man, our item room is all the way across the map. Oh, I don't want to skip it, but fuck, man, it's so far here. I'm going to blow these up, too. We get another pill. Bombs are key. Okay. Well, we have 15 keys and 11 bombs now.
Ouch. God damn it. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Get it together. Alright, well. See what Hive Mind does there. Is you get bigger flies, which means that they do more damage. Yikes. We'll come in this item room and we'll get a shitty, shitty item. I mean, we'll use it in here just so that we can get an extra pickup from the room. Oh my goodness. Ah, I can't believe I took damage there. Okay, I have to go to the bathroom, so I will be back.
get back to it. It's probably gonna be the last run, and then I gotta end stream because I got some stuff to do today. Uh, secret room is probably up from here if it's not right there. Yes, sir. And nothing. Our HP situation is looking a little not very good, but it's alright. We got it. We'll handle it. We quit carrying Queen here. Who's just going to be a cakewalk due to the fear. She just boxed herself in a corner. We get Trapicamide and a double deal here, which we will not be able to afford. So I probably shouldn't have even come in. But it is what it is. It could have given me health of some kind. Okay, we'll come left here. Start heading down this path. Quick, 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 speedster, speedster. Speed run. Alright, what do we got in here? Wow, such shitty items I have been getting today. Yeah, today has just not been our day, guys. Not our day, but... So, all right, when all else fails, try, try again. Ow. Oh, why did one survive? I thought that fucker was going to hit me. All right, we're down to two hearts, so we're looking even worse, unfortunately. Secret room could be here. It is. I'm so good. We how well, well uh, HP situation's fixed. Good job, guys. Actually, probably the best secret room item that we could have seen right here in this situation. Oh my God! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Oh, we get two soul hearts back, so it's not the end of the world, but fuck, man. Oh my gosh, I'm so fucking bad at the video game. Please stop. I'm begging you. Stop hurting me. Booster pack. We don't have any reverse cards, so... <gasps> not really gonna be the best here. Ancient recall. So we got Judgment, Magician, Empress... So we have another judgment, temperance, chariot, uh, we'll pop down the temperance and then use the chariot. Oh wow. Two of hearts. Just gonna fill that back up. Oh, we didn't even have blood bag. Blood bag unlocked. No wonder we didn't get it. Duh. The hell. We able to try to pay out both of these guys here if we have enough for it. Oh well, that's a good start. Still no reverse cards, so unfortunately that's not going to be very good. The bombs are key, doesn't matter. Did not want to buy that, but... We're still making good time. We'll make boss rush, we'll be able to get a free item out of it. If I recall correctly, you can get items in the same run that you unlock them, but... If we don't, that's fine. blue map good lord that moon card just became fucking useless massive item from that beggar there I I'm just I uh, should I it would waste so much time though I should have saved that for the next floor but then I wouldn't have had a teleport card because I don't think the the fool card spawns until you unlock beast path 
not positive on that, but I don't think so. Ouch. Fuck you. Assholes. Okay. And we'll go ahead and fight. Bloat. Fuck off. He's dead. Thank god. That fucking boss sucks ass. No deal. We get more damage. It's cool, I guess. <sighs> Unfortunate. Uh, I want to keep those. Yep, we'll take our take our licks here. Cool. Come through here. We got an arcade once again. Just no crane games makes the arcade effectively pointless. It sucks, but it is what it is. Got our brims looking good. Okay, well now, I wish we would have used that. I forgot that if we don't charge it, we're actually going to do more. Okay, we already found all of our shit. Can I have a good item, finally? No. No, I fucking can't. Wow. Wow, these items have been impressively shit. We got the rare shop, though, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we get a two of hearts. Not much. What are doing there? We'll take Dreamcatcher, because why not? Might as well just fucking buy all this shit. Donate a little bit. Up these guys for more coins to put in. After all, it is the last floor. All right, let's fucking go. Ah, <sighs> my goodness. Actually, it's such a smart play by me. What the fuck? What a genius. Uh, looking good on time. I think we can kill mom pretty quick. Something's wrong. Uh, Alright, uh, that's gonna be a dead end. Never mind, I don't know shit. Anyways, let's get into our secret room. Find a lucky rock. Cross space rocks and tinted rocks blink every 10 seconds. No money to pay him out, unfortunately. And we'll go ahead and fight her. I was about to say, I can't tell if it's a red champion mom or not. Things are not looking good for me. Good lord, I'm so ass. Oh, I did get hit there. Fuck me. We got time to go in here and get fuck all. What about in here? Oh, yeah, I forgot it does that. I see soy. And we now have soy brim. Which I, I enjoy. It's just brimstone, but forever. And we'll take our rosary bead. Looks a little weird with his azel here, but it'll do.
I was about to say, we'd have to do quite a bit for this to be worth it, but good lord, whoa my gosh! Wow, what a freaking curse room, dude. My goodness. Yikes. Yeah, so we gotta be real careful, because this sway brim, I really don't have all that much damage. It's constant, yes, but at the same time... Secret rooms are all this way, which typically means the boss will end up being this way as well. I'm just wasting all this HP that the game has graciously given me. Like, come on, dude. Get it together, yeah? Hate these fucking things. Especially with how little damage I'm doing. Fuck. Oh, that actually gives us Giga Brim for some reason. It gives us Giga Brim for the whole fucking room. As long as we don't charge. We'll have Super Brim. In all these regular rooms, at least. Go Camo Undies. This is the room where it ain't gonna matter, though. Now look at this piss poor fucking damage. However, explosive, oh my god. Right on. Well, at this point, the run is all but one. Especially with that white pony, which is effectively just, uh... What's it called? Effectively just crack this guy. Dirty, then all area junior. Give me a teleport. Ooh, not the one I'm really looking for, but I mean, fuck it. I'll take Rainbow Worm for the fight. Fuck it. All right, Mom's heart. Here we go. Yikes. And that's all she wrote, boys. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> oh, the mean uppercut. All right. Well, that's going to do it. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out.